I am going to show you the origami fold uh, with a flower sack towel. So with the origami fold, you're going to get two corners and you're going to fold your towel in half. So you've got a big rectangle. Then you're going to grab two corners and you're going to fold it in half again so that you have a small square. Then you're going to get the corner that is open and you're going to pull it all the way over to this side. So you have a big triangle. Just like that. Then you're going to turn the whole thing over, upside down. And now you're going to make your pad. So you can choose how you want to do this for your baby. Uh, for us, we like to do a small little fold like this and then two bigger folds and then we end up right in the middle. To store this fold, uh, I like to fold this middle part upwards and just do two folds like this and that's a nice easy way to store it. And I'll just quickly show you how it would fit onto a baby. So you're going to place them right about there and this part would come up like this and the sides the sides would come up and over like this and you're welcome to use a clip or a snap to um, hold this in place but I just hold it with my hand and then put the cover on top like that now I'm going to show you the kite fold uh, with this fold, you're going to get one corner and you're going to pull it all the way to the opposite corner. And you're going to leave a little gap on the sides. Then you're going to pull that same corner down slowly so that you can make a nice fold just about this width in the middle here. Uh, this is going to be your pad fold, so you can choose the width that you want for your baby. Then you're going to bring this uh, corner and you're going to bring it right up so it lines up with the edge of that first fold and then you're going to pull it back like that so now this part has a lot of layers uh, because that's where most of the pee and poop is going to fall so then you're going to basically just fold the whole thing in half like this And there you have it. And I like to fold these little sides in. Again, to store it, just fold it upwards and sideways like that. And I'll just quickly show you how that would fit. So they would sit right about there. And this part just comes right up like before. And the sides over like this. And there you go. And lastly, I'm just going to show you two pad folds. The first one's very basic. You're gonna fold, get two corners, you're gonna fold it in half. And then you're going to get your other two corners and you're gonna fold it in half again into a small square. And then you're just going to fold it into thirds. So one, two. And that gives you a nice layered pad there. And that would just fit over the baby like a normal insert. The other version is specifically for girls. So this one you're going to get your two corners again. You're going to kind of fold it into a third. So you want to have a layered part in the middle like this. And then you're just going to fold as many times as works for your baby the width that you want. You're just going to fold over all the way over like this. The reason this one is good for girls is because there's a nice thick part in the middle right where the pee is going to fall. So you can make sure you have a lot of layers there to catch all of that moisture. Okay, I'm just going to give you a quick demonstration about how to put the cloth diaper on. So I'm using pocket diapers. They look something like this. So you're technically supposed to stuff the pocket with your insert. So for example, this is an insert and you would stuff that inside so that it lies 
flat in there. Um, I don't like to do that just because then each diaper change I have to change the entire diaper. I like to just lay it on top. That way if it's just something small uh, that makes it dirty then I just take the insert off and I can reuse this uh, cover again. So I'm going to show you how I use them. So uh, you're going to pop that under there. Uh, you're going to decide what insert you use. This is just a normal insert. Don't mind the stains. And this is a flower sack towel. So I'm going to use a, a flower sack towel today, but it doesn't really matter what you use on yours. So you're going to just line up. Either way, you'll, you'd line up the insert with the back here. <clears throat> and you want to make sure that there's, this is wide enough that it is going to cover all the spillage because you don't want any leg leaks. Then basically you're going to pull this up over the baby. You're going to hold it with your left hand so that it stays flat. You don't want any creases. You're going to pull these tabs out to make sure that they're as even as possible. Now for us, uh, we go right to the end because um, she's still pretty small. And so you want to always be centered. So this is the center button, and we're going to come right down to these two buttons here. So the first button is going to go there. Pull this down and up and over. And this button's going to go there. See how this is nice and flat on either side? That's what you want. Then you're going to put stick your finger under here, and you're going to pull this flat down like that. Then you're going to stick this finger, pull that flat down like that. And you're going to do these last two buttons up like that. Everything's flat at the top. You're going to just check the leg creases. You want to make sure that these are in their underwear line. So tuck those in. Make sure the insert isn't visible from the outside. Like that. Then you want to make sure that the rise is tucked upwards. So you're just going to push that up. There we go. Now just roll the baby over and check that the insert's not showing at the bottom, which mine is a little bit. So you're just going to tuck it in. Like that. And there you have it.